This is George, he is a simple and happy man with a simple life. This is everything he needs to pay for in a month. 50 liters of water, 5 liters of milk, 2 kilograms of rice, 2 kilograms of bread, 10 kilograms of seasonal veggies, 15 kilograms of seasonal fruits, 8 kilograms of meat, 12 eggs, public transportation, 4 times a 10 minute cab ride, 20 coffees at bar, 10 beers, 2 bottles of mid-range wine, 2 movie theater tickets, health insurance, haircut, a gym membership, the rent for a one bedroom or studio apartment, mobile phone and internet subscription, toiletries and one pair of t-shirt and pants. George works remotely on his computer. Let's see what his monthly cost of living would be if he decided to move to New York. In this episode I visited one of the busiest cities in the world. New York and I calculated how much it would cost to live there. I made some interesting discoveries during my trip. Some things are much cheaper than you would think, while others are very expensive. Without further ado, let's start with George's expenses. For the grocery products I went to Trader Joe's. For 50 liters of water you would spend $20. 5 liters of milk are $5. For 2 kilograms of rice you would spend $4. 2 kilograms of bread are $6. For 10 kilograms of mixed seasonal veggies you would spend $24. For 15 kilograms of mixed seasonal fruits you would spend $57. For 8 kilograms of mixed meat you would spend $128. 12 eggs are $3. For 10 beers and 2 bottles of wine you would spend $34. And for some toiletries products you would spend $20. In my opinion the best way to move around New York with public transportation is the subway. It's simple and very intuitive. You can make a monthly unlimited card or just recharge it every time for more credit. One ride is about $2.50. The monthly card is $121 and that's what George will use. A 10 minute Uber drive is about $10, for 4 times it's $40. One coffee was $2.10, for 20 coffees a month that's $42. One movie theater ticket was about $16, so for 2 movies a month it's $32. For the health insurance I based my costs on what an average American employee pays to private health insurance companies. We will say that George pays $89 monthly for the insurance plus $24 for a medical visit. For the haircut I went into this barber shop and paid $22. How much would it be for me just haircut? It's $22. $22. For the gym I went into this one which is a franchise and asked how much it would cost monthly. The guy at the counter told me it was about $25 a month and you could use all other locations of that gym as well. As you probably know, space is one of the most expensive things in New York. I found this one bedroom apartment with no fees for $2000. For the phone and internet subscriptions I went to AT&T which is one of the biggest provider in the US and they told me it was about $200, 100 for the phone contract and 100 for the home Wi-Fi. For the clothes I went to H&M and for one pair of t-shirt and pants you would spend $22. So in the end if George decided to move to New York City he would spend 2918 US dollars. As you can see a big part of the costs come from the apartment rent, almost 70%. With some more researches you will probably find a cheaper apartment. I would just make sure that all the fees are already included in the final price, otherwise prices may vary. For example you could save a lot of money if you find an apartment without a broker's help and go straight to the landlord. One of the things I would like to suggest is to try out the city bike. It's one of my favorite things in New York. It's easy to use and very effective to move around for short distances. Unlimited 30 minute rides in a 24 hour period are $12, while for the yearly pass you'll pay $163 for unlimited 45 minute rides. When I talk about 30 or 45 minute rides, it means that in that time you'll have to bring the bike back to a station and take a new one. I hope these informations were helpful for you, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.